guys, it's Cassie. So I decided to be a little bit spontaneous today. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, I've been wanting to get my conch pierced. I actually have a fake piercing in right here. So this is exactly what I want to get, but for real. So today we are hanging out. We're going to meet up with a friend and then I think I'm going to get my ears pierced. Yup. I'm not really even that nervous like I think for piercing pain is pretty relative and I'd be more scared of getting a tattoo because it could like mess up oh, the lines yeah. but like for piercing I'm not really scared of the pain that much. It doesn't really hurt to be honest it's just like a really Oh quick, yeah she like, has pulp. her cartilage. Yeah. Where is so, it? It's right here. There it is. Hopefully they don't like pierce through a nerve and then you're something using a, happens. You're not using a gun though. No obviously. no a needle is recommended. Skinny tie and a cuff type. He go and make breakfast. You walk around naked. I might just text you. Turn your phone over. When it's all over, no settling down. My text goes. One more time. Keep that in. All the way out. Yeah. How you doing? It's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. So last little bit of pressure. Oh, so. Did you bring in there? Mm-hmm. Put your legs in there. Just gonna toss the beat on. Oh. Awesome. And the pain level was like one out of ten. Like I barely felt it. It just happened, right? Yeah, it didn't hurt at all. So I think you just have a really high pain tolerance. Oh my god, they got it done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look in the big screen. Yeah. <laughs> dark out right now it's like four ish o'clock and it gets pretty dark <laughs> but I got my piercing everyone look at it it's a little bit swollen but don't twist it around I know really I know oh, I'm so I like stoked it. I'm gonna get a septum guys yeah a next secret. video guys next video <laughs> I literally just carried that up from downstairs just for this video. All right, so it's been exactly one day since I got my conch piercing and I thought that would be a really good idea to basically tell you my experience, pain level, etc. I thought you guys would be really interested in that. And also, I was looking through YouTube before I got it pierced and there wasn't really that many reviews on like conch piercings in particular. So I thought that I would do one for you guys. Yeah, so I got my conch done at Adrenaline Van City. So it's just along Granville, you've probably passed by it 
and the reason why I got it done there is because several of my friends have gotten a piercing there and all I've heard was positive reviews so I highly recommend them if you guys are in the area but if you're not definitely research a good place to get your ears pierced because it is really important that you get it done professionally so that it's sanitary and safe and it doesn't get infected and stuff and yeah, so if you guys are wondering, my piercer's name is Michael, so ask for him if you guys want to get a piercing done there. Um, he was super friendly, super nice, accommodating, and the process just went by so fast. Richie actually told me like after that he treated me as if he was like a doctor, so you know it's sanitary and whatnot and not gross. Definitely recommend him if you want a piercing done. So for the actual piercing, I know that it's made out of surgical steel, but I'm not exactly quite sure what the diameter is but I'll try and measure it and put it over here for you guys. But what I did actually, like I said earlier, I had these piercings that I got from a kiosk, a random kiosk in my local mall, because I wanted to try it out and see how it would look like on me. But what I did was that I gave the fake piercing to them and I was like, can you guys find me a ring that's exactly like this? Cause I like the size and the thickness and yeah. So that's basically what they did. They said that this is actually the smallest size you can go for conch piercings because of swelling purpose. So yeah, I think it's also um, 14 gauge, so that's pretty standard for conch piercing. I know that it's actually better for healing purposes that you get a bar, two studs on either side instead of the ring, but I really wanted the ring because I like it, I think it looks really cute, and I didn't want to wait another year to change it, so I was just like, I can endure this pain, whatever, just give me the ring, I don't mind. And yeah, so pain-wise, I was so surprised if you saw from the previous clips like I had no expression at all it didn't feel painful or anything how it feel Cass? I felt like nothing <laughs> literally the feeling of a needle going through my ear was as long as the earthquake we had a couple of days ago which was like three seconds long and then it was done and I really like the placement of it and he did a really good job and right now to be completely honest I can barely feel it which I was like super like what? Yesterday, a couple of hours after I got my piercing, it started to be a little bit sore, but then today I can't even feel it. Unless of course someone accidentally touches it or bumps into me or my hair like touches it. Actually not even, not even that, but yeah, so basically I'm like hugging people like this, like don't touch my piercing please. And so for aftercare and cleaning, they gave me this little kit which was included with the piercing. The total price for the actual jewelry, getting it pierced, and for this was $55. And if I actually got the bar, it would have been 70 so I saved money, okay? So what I have to do for the next three months every day is put in three of the little sea salt into a cup of hot water and fully submerge my ear in it for at least five minutes. <laughs> and they also gave me a spray that I can use daily and all I have to do is get a cotton bud and wipe off all the little crusty parts and then spray it with the spray. Apparently it's organic, so I don't know if that makes a difference. But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm super happy with the results. I really wanted to get it done before the New Year's and I actually got inspired by Jenna Marbles because I saw her conch piercing and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like, I love the placement of it. thought it was really different and really minimal, obviously, because that's my style. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you are planning on getting your conch piercing. Keep in mind too that I have a pretty high pain tolerance and I'm not scared of needles. That's why it probably didn't hurt as much as it should of, but honestly if it was painful I think it'd be worth it because I really like it definitely recommend adrenaline van city I'll put the link to their website down below along with their address and yeah I'm not being sponsored by them at all I just thought I'd give you guys my review my honest review I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you guys want Richie to do a updated hair care routine slash toning video for her hair and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. My Instagram is at Cassie Masenkai and Richie's is Richie Pumantuan and our joint Instagram account is at We Are To The Nine. I hope you guys have a really good 2016 and I'll see you guys with Richie in the next video. Bye.